You're watching the new Stack Makers, a podcast for people who develop, deploy, and manage at scale software. For more information and articles about at scale technologies, please visit thenewstack.io. Now enjoy the show. The last few decades delivered great advances in infrastructure. Now it's time to build apps that make the most of those new tools. VMware Tanzu Solutions accelerate app development and delivery with streamlined paths to production, automated platform operations at scale, and continuous improvement of application costs, performance, and security. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this On the Road episode of the New Stack Makers. I'm your host, Heather Joslin, and we're on the road here on the floor at uh, KubeCon plus CloudNativeCon North America in Chicago, that toddling town. Um, today we're going to learn a thing or two about internal developer platforms. What are they? How can they help your developers? How can they help your operations engineers? And the person who's here to talk to us about that is uh, Ben Wilcock of VMware. Hi, Ben. Hi, Heather. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> and uh, Ben, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do at VMware. Sure, yeah. Uh, my name is Ben, obviously, and uh, I work in the Tanzu uh, area of the business. I'm a technical marketing architect. I've been an architect for many years. I've been a software developer as well. And I basically try and uh, articulate to developers and to uh, other interested parties uh, what it means to use a platform and how helpful they can be to uh, keep developers productive. Well, um, just want to acknowledge our sponsor for today's conversation, VMware Tanzu. And uh, let's get started. It's a big topic. Um, so at the new stack, we've written a lot about platform engineering, um, I think some people are still a bit confused about what platform engineering is compared to what an internal developer platform is. Can you um, delineate the difference for us? Uh, well, for me, platform engineering is usually about building an internal developer platform. Mm -hmm. So I, wouldn't, I don't really see them as comp competing with each other. Mm -hmm. I see uh, one endeavor producing the other, if okay. you like. So I, I think the sort of end result usually from a, a platform engineering uh, endeavor would be to create an internal developer platform of some kind. Okay. And um, I also hear uh, internal developer portal is, a, is something that confuses people. They confuse internal developer platform. What is, how do, how do you delineate those two? Yes, I hear that a lot as well. And it, there's a, quite an easy delineation. I, I personally view an internal developer portal as being the user experience of an internal developer platform, if you mm -hmm. like. So mm -hmm. it's the touchy-feely bits, the bits that provide a, a kind of a hub and a focal point for developers, the things that you might see in a browser window, you know, mm -hmm. the, the, the way that you might have a look at your platform and find out how it's performing or how uh, your applications are doing on there or information from other teams. So mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a window, if you like. The portal mm -hmm. is basically a window onto what's going on with the rest of the platform. And you, my understanding of it, also is like uh, that it's it's a way a developer might access the internal developer platform. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It provides them that on-ramp to uh, get information that they might mm -hmm. need from the rest of the organization or to provide information to everybody in mm -hmm. the organization yeah. as well. So yeah, it's very much a, a window on what's going on. What are some of the advantages for a developer in using an internal developer platform? I think it's uh, I think it's mainly about what it relieves the developer from having to do. So, so mm -hmm. development can be a very complicated topic. There can be an awful lot of moving parts, mm -hmm. and I think a, a good internal developer platform is about reducing the number of those, making it easier to uh, have your software, build your code, and have it run in production, but smoothing that that process so that it provides less friction than it would without a platform. So mm. a good platform, I think, is about reducing that friction and allowing uh, developers code to get into production uh, as smoothly and as seamlessly as possible, I think. And the, and also allows them to, uh, my understanding is that, you know, they don't have to know a lot about Kubernetes, for example, or they don't have to know a lot about... Absolutely. The, it's the, really helpful if your platform is an abstraction that, that sort of takes away all the complexity of dealing with that sort of infrastructure because complexity usually means time and, and time is uh, you know, a very valuable resource. So mm -hmm. if you can spend the time doing the things that add value, that's mm -hmm. usually better than uh, perhaps grappling with things that 
uh, and, and not necessarily um, your area of expertise, like in my case, for example, infrastructure. And for an operations engineer, what, what, what is the advantage of having an internal developer platform in your organization? Well, I think for, from the opposite side of the fence, you know, mm -hmm. the, the, en the, the platform engineer side, if you like, mm -hmm. it's all about, uh, again, it, it's, it's reducing choice. You mm -hmm. know, there's obviously advantages to having choice, but in a large organization, there are disadvantages as well. If you have every developer team using a, a different mechanism to get their software into production, mm -hmm. that becomes very difficult to sustain over a long period of time. And mm -hmm. you can find that um, errors can creep in very easily that way. So, so I think uh, a well-engineered platform, it listens to what developers want and it provides them with that easy on-ramp, but at the same time, it offers uh, a degree of standardization that allows uh, engineering organizations to reduce the amount of effort that they have to spend on um, maintaining lots of different solutions for the same problem. You know, how do I get my code into production? Um, is it more secure as well, do you think? For sure, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. if you can uh, have as part of that golden path to production, uh, mm -hmm. you know, um, if you can build security into that golden path, then yeah, absolutely. Every every piece of software that goes down that journey should be treated to the same rigors and the same checks and balances to make sure that the organization is well catered for when it comes to security mm -hmm. and to uh, uh, the integrity of their uh, of their code as it goes out into the wider world through the mm -hmm. internet or yeah. wherever it's offered. Yeah. Yeah. How does Tanzu VMware Tanzu approach? approach uh, internal developer platforms? Well, we try to think about everything that a developer um, or you know, an organization with lots of developers might need mm -hmm. in order to be successful. And we've got a good track record in this. You know, Tanzu is the home of uh, Tanzu Application Service, previously Pivotal Cloud Foundry, mm -hmm. that's been running some of the world's most critical workloads for mm -hmm. over a decade. So. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we've got a history of thinking about what it is that developers want and need, what it is that operators want and need, mm -hmm. what it is that security want and need. Mm -hmm. And we try and bring those ideas together into a platform that allows organizations to have more of a sort of a turnkey approach, you know, mm -hmm. um, perhaps meaning that they don't need to build the entire platform themselves, you know, maybe mm -hmm. we can help them save time and effort by providing uh, products and tooling that helps them to uh, go quicker, mm -hmm. but uh, without necessarily um, you know, the disadvantages of being too constrained. So, so that's what we try and do. We try and build platforms that are flexible and malleable, mm -hmm. but at the same time offer a, a good amount of functionality out of the box that should satisfy what those teams need in order to be successful. At VMware Explorer earlier earlier this year, uh, the Tanzu Developer uh, Portal was was announced. Can you mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about that, um, how that came about, and what um, what that provides? Absolutely, yeah. So we've been working on developer portals for quite some time. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a very successful developer portal as part of the Tanzu application platform. Mm -hmm. uh, so that basically provides that, that window for developers, that sort of focal point for their software um, development operation. Uh, where they can share information. And we found that a lot of folks were, were very interested in being able to access that as a standalone feature. So mm. the Tanzu Developer Portal is essentially a kind of a standalone version of that uh, endeavor, of that uh, piece mm. of software. So that companies who perhaps are already into platform engineering, maybe have already built certain parts of the platform themselves, mm -hmm. but perhaps want now to add to that a uh, developer portal, then they can uh, use the Tanzu uh, developer portal to do just that and provide yep. that, that window and that insight to their developer teams, um, but without necessarily needing to use the rest of the platform if, if, uh, if they choose that that's not what they want to do. And uh, the Tanzu, um uh, the internal developer platform is that um, compatible with all all the major public clouds, or is that? Yeah, absolutely. You can run it on basically Kubernetes. So mm -hmm. if you've got a, a Kubernetes, this particular versions of Kubernetes are supported. Mm -hmm. If you're running a, a supported version, then yeah, you could install it wherever you have that Kubernetes, whether that's. Um, 
in the cloud on any of the major clouds, you know, Google Cloud, Azure, uh, AWS, or if you've got a data center and you're running Kubernetes in your data center, then mm. we can put it on there as well. Or uh, possibly even more fruity locations, like uh, <laughs> maybe at the edge, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, is that, uh, is that, uh... Is that is that on the roadmap? Is that it's uh, possible? You know, like I said, anywhere where there's Kubernetes, you could uh, you could take a look at it. I'm not saying it's necessarily supported in every location. You should talk <laughs> to us about that maybe before you do it. But um, but there are lots of ideas floating around about uh, the flexibility that running on Kubernetes brings to our customers, and uh, you know they're very excited often to uh, try new ideas and, uh, and and yeah, why not? If you didn't run Kubernetes, if you ran Nomad, for example, would that would that be? Uh... No, I think uh, we de tend to work with uh, Kubernetes as okay. our substrate. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, we're we're, we're concentrating on Kubernetes for okay. now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What are some of the challenges that you hear from customers about, you know, implementing uh, platform engineering and then and and an internal developer platform? I mean, what are what are some of the the um, Common pain points that you that you feel like maybe, maybe you're, you know, that yeah. people should be aware of as they're starting to, you know, get into that uh, yeah, process. Uh, very much so. I would say scope. Scope is the <laughs> 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 scope and fear. Should yeah. we say scope? No, no, scope. I think. I mean, you only have to look around us where we are right now. There are within, you know, I don't know. 20, 30 yards, probably 20 or 30 different projects yeah. that are all vying for your attention on uh, Kubernetes and mm. all have a uh, huge value to bring. But if you're a platform engineering team, you're starting with a blank piece of paper, mm. kind of figuring out how you're going to, first of all, select the right projects for you and then integrate those projects together mm. and then keep all those plates spinning with updates and yeah. uh, you know various different changes that will happen through the year, new features and things. It's a hugely complicated task and it will take you many years to, to achieve something in mm. many cases. That's what yeah. we hear from customers. That's what I've heard talking to folks mm. just yesterday at BackstageCon, you know, uh, had, a, ha had a conversation with a, a small group of platform engineers who were predicting, you know, two to three years before they had sort of a, you know, a reasonable amount of features available that uh, based on what they've been asked to deliver if you know what yeah. i mean so so its scope i think is the is the biggest hugest problem and that's why you know vendors like ourselves vmware with our tanzo application platform you know we can help you kind of skip the line a little bit and mm -hmm. and move uh, move faster towards a a place where you st you still have platform engineering you still have platform engineers our platform is customizable, and that customization requires exactly the same skills. Mm -hmm. But you didn't necessarily have to figure out how to merge together 20 different open source projects mm. uh, before you could start to see some value. So, so I think we bring value early, and we help folks to control scope and to try and uh, wrestle with uh, scope and, and, uh, and yeah, see, see those benefits sooner rather than later. Just one last question: Is there anything, uh, any other new things that VMware Tanzu uh, related to this? I guess I did ask you a little bit about the roadmap. Is there anything else um, that you think our audience would be particularly uh, interested in hearing about? Anything on the on the horizon? Yeah, well, we're, we're working really hard to try and increase the number of features that we've got in uh, Tanzu Application Platform, and we're we're growing the platform itself as well. We're sort of uh, redefining the platform uh, next year. So there'll be some uh, changes coming along there that will uh, do deal with things like, uh, you know, the Kubernetes substrate and, and mm. how does that happen? And what about if I have groups of engineers who have, you know, particular sort of template needs from their infrastructure? Can I sort of template that up in some way? So so we've got a lot of ideas, there's a lot of work going on, and we every three months we release something new. So you should sign up for our newsletters and you should uh, uh, maybe have a look at the Tanzu website at tanzu.vmware.com and uh, sign up there and then you'll be the first to know as soon as there's something new happening, uh, you'll, you'll get it through that newsletter. So yeah, we'd love to uh, hear from people as well if they want to contact us. 
uh, they can do that through the website. We've got a contact form on there and folks can uh, chat with us. Or, of course, come over to our stands here at KubeCon or uh, other top uh, tech conferences or join us at VMware Explore as well for all the latest information, which is also, incidentally, uh -huh. happening right now as we're speaking uh, <laughs> over in Spain, Barcelona. All my friends are there uh, dealing with uh, lots and lots of inquiries from uh, folks all over Europe. So uh, join and explore wherever you are and uh, hopefully you can keep that conversation going. Yeah, and lucky you, you're in Chicago in November. I am, <laughs> I'm so blessed. It's such a beautiful city. I'm yeah. very happy to be here. So, so thanks for giving us all such a warm welcome. We really appreciate it. Well, we appreciate you having you here. And uh, we want to thank our sponsor, VMware, for uh, sponsoring today's conversation. And uh, we want to thank all of you for joining us. I'm Heather Joslin for the New Stack Makers. We'll see you next time. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're on all the major social media platforms. You can always find us at thenewstack.io. We hope to see you soon.